Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. Neek at Night. <laughs> Anyways, um, you're tuned in to Neek at Night, and tonight I'm going to be talking about the exclusive that Tasha K dropped on her channel. She dropped a bombshell that Wendy Williams' husband's side chick had her baby and was in the pediatrics unit. Um, this is all alleged. I mean, she called the hospital, so I'm going to say still allegedly. You know what I'm saying? She dropped this bombshell on her channel yesterday, and she did the due diligence of calling the hospital to confirm that she was there. So I'm going to show you guys a little piece of that, but I'm also going to read to you guys some of the stuff that is has been brewing around the internet about the dynamic between Wendy Williams' husband and this woman, Sharina. In addition to this bombshell dropping yesterday, Wendy Williams has now since been spotted without her wedding ring. I'm gonna get into that tea later on in this video, honey. Mm, mm, mm. But without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys this bombshell that Tasha K got exclusively um, right now. Academy University Hospital, this is Zena. How may I help you? Okay, hi, I was just transferred to Nicola Hudson's room, and I just need to know what room number she's in, because I'm having flowers delivered for her. And she's in the uh, pediatric, where they keep maternity. the babies, correct? Maternity. Okay, yes. and it's 16, say that again. Six okay, so as you can see, the nurse is confirming that she's there and that she is in the pediatrics unit. And the pediatrics unit is for people who just had a baby and, you know what I'm saying, things like that. Um, so what do you guys think about that? I mean, that is a little crazy. Like, do you think at this point now that that information has been revealed? Like, what is it? What do you guys think is going to take for Wendy Williams to finally speak about this? What do you think will be the straw that broke the camel's back for Wendy to finally speak on this situation on her platform and address what is being said around the internet. I honestly think that she is ready to talk and spill the beans and come clean because if you guys remember on her show, she said, don't ask me about my marriage until you see my ring gone. And now she has been spotted out with that ring gone. This news broke yesterday and today sis has taken the ring off. So is that a sign that she is going to now come forward and speak about this situation and, you know, live her truth about it? I don't know. But if you guys don't remember what she said about her ring being gone before y'all ask, I'm going to play the clip right now. Marriages have ebbs and flows. Marriages are not easy. Don't ask me about mine until you see this gone. And it ain't going anywhere. Not in this lifetime. Okay, so y'all heard out of Wendy's mouth. She's not going to talk until the ring is gone. And now she spotted the ring is gone. So do you think we're going to hear about this today, tomorrow? Is it going to be a whole special of spilling the beans? Is Kevin going to be fired as her executive producer, her manager? I mean, he has his hand in the cookie jar with her dealings a lot. And people say, like, you know, he's spending her money. Well, he helped her build her platform to where it is. So I, I at this point, I mean, we can say it's both of their money because he helped executive produce and manage her and helped her get to where she is. Um, but I don't give him no rights to cheat and do what he's doing. But, I mean, it's going to be a hell of a fight dividing these finances up, these houses. It's going to be crazy. Um, I'm going to go to the Daily Mail to read to you guys what has been brewing about this before the whole alleged baby came into play. And I'm going to read to you guys how they've been following this situation and following Sharina, which is the mistress to Wendy's husband, following her husband around. I'm going to share with you guys all of that information. But before I do that, I want to tell you guys about this unit that I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this 360 wig unit. It's 360 degrees all the way around with lace where you can put your hair up. You can put it, you know, style it any which way you want to. Um, it's 20 inches. It comes straight. If you want to get this unit, you can get 25% off using the coupon code NEEK at youthbeauty.com. So you type in N-I-Q-U-E and you get yourself 25% off, honey. That is a good deal. And this hair is really nice. It's soft. 
Um, and it's full, like I like how full the hair is as well. In order to get this hair, definitely go on over to youthbeauty.com, put in my coupon code NIQ, N-I-Q-U-E, get yourself 25% off. But anyways, let me go on over to the Daily Mail to read to you guys what has been brewing around the internet about this couple, Wendy Williams' uh, husband and his mistress' alleged situation. They've been following this story for a long time. They know exact locations. They know like where they are. Time, like they know all the scoop. So let me go on over to the Daily Mail, and this is something that was published yet last year in April. So like I said, they've been on this story for some time now. And now we're in 2019, but this was in April of 2018 that they published this. And so um, this is a story where it says, mistress of Wendy Williams' husband ducks for cover and runs a red light after being spotted in New York while still wearing a huge diamond ring on her engagement finger months after the affair was exposed. Sharina Hudson, 32, ducked for cover on Saturday after spotting a photographer in New York City. She was collecting her car from a theater district parking garage at the time. Hudson was spotted still wearing a large diamond ring on her wedding finger. The massage therapist has been engaged in a secret 10 year long affair with Wendy Williams' husband, Kevin Hunter. And again, this is information straight from the Daily Mail. This is their words, not mine. They did the research and this is their stuff. Um, it says, Hudson has rarely been seen in public since the affair was exposed last year. Williams has only just returned to air after taking a three week break to deal with health issues. So I guess even back in April, she took a three week break after news broke about this Sharina girl, similar to when more news surfaced in December. It's crazy. Um, so it says, it says, uh, let's see. It was revealed late last year that Hudson had been engaged in a secret 10 year long affair with Williams 46 year old husband, Kevin Hunter. Hunter moved the younger woman into a $765,000 home in New Jersey. And Hudson has previously been spotted wearing the large diamond ring on her wedding ring finger. Hunter has been splitting his time between the New Jersey home he shares with Wendy and their teenage son, Kevin Jr and the secluded suburban house he bought for his mistress just nine miles down the road. And again, this was in April of 2018. The Daily Mail was hot on the press. They was hot on the trail. They got all the scoop. And since all of this information has been blasted and put out there, he has now um, put the home on the market. And I don't know if it actually sold yet, but the home is up on the market for sale the last time I checked into this. And it also says um, Hudson has rarely been seen in public since the affair was exposed. Williams 53 declared that she was standing by her guy soon after Daily Mail um, revealed the affair in September. So they even this was um, April of 18. So if they're saying that they revealed the affair in September, that means back in 2017. And so they've been given scoops about this affair to Wendy, which like I've told you guys, I think that it was a business deal. I think it's a business arrangement like at this point because he's the executive producer of her show. He has he's like her manager. So it's going to be cheaper to keep him on board, even though there might be this infidelity or this arrangement. I think the reason why she's not going out and making a spectacle of it, because number one, she knows about it. Number two, it's possible that she agrees with it. Um, when her and Judge Mathis had the infamous argument where he was calling her out and he was saying that she was on cocaine and stuff, he said that in his, his rant to her, Judge Mathis said that Wendy was bisexual. Now, let's talk about fueling your stuff. You, on the other hand, have admitted to being addicted to cocaine. Absolutely. Secondly, you continue to show symptoms of your addiction. Okay. Lastly, what are those symptoms you know, coming? These nasal passages you keep uh, yes. coughing and up. I then, then, lastly, yes, lastly, judge. your bisexual activity. Oh, I'm sure your no, uh, audience want to know about that. I've I'm heard that rumor. I'm sure and my husband finally, would love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he watched does he watch when you do it? Yes. Don't wow. you know? No, I don't know. I didn't know you were that low down. 
So, I mean, how we know this ain't some like, you know what I'm saying? Like menage polygamous relationship or whatever. Polygamy is like, it's, it's more popular than you guys think. There are so many people in these types of arrangements than you guys know. So it's like, how do we know this ain't that type of situation? And she knows about it, but the embarrassment from the, the stuff that she says about people, maybe that could be affecting her. I don't know. It's a lot of things to speculate about this. And again, that's just an, a speculation. I don't know. I don't know until she actually speaks up about it. But um, I'm going to read a little bit more. And again, this was all the way in freaking last year that this information has been being leaked. The Daily Mail, they then started like staking them out. They knew where they were when they went to go meet. They went, like they have been on it. Like, so it's crazy. Um, it says she told her fans about her health battles before giving a special shout out to her husband, Kevin, for helping her through the difficult time. So she had a health battle back in April too, because the, the recent health battle was in December. And all of these health, health battles comes after news is being broken on the Daily Mail about this mistress. That's crazy. That's really crazy. Um, it says the TV personality also had a scare late last year when she fainted on live television at the time, Williams chalked it up to menopause and overheating in her Lady Liberty Halloween costume. Her health scare, her health scare came as sources claimed she was not the same person after news broke of the Hunter affair. Insiders close to Williams said at the time that behind the scenes, she had been uncharacteristically melancholy. So she's like, I guess like behind the scenes, she was just like bland, you know what I'm saying? But like on the show, she had to perform for the show. Um, what do you guys think about this news of the mistress, the side girl to her husband allegedly having this baby? And what do you think about Wendy Williams finally taking her wedding ring off? Just a few weeks ago, she was saying that, you know, that she not going to be taking it off and then don't question her until it's off. And now suddenly it's off. There has also been rumors that she hired a private investigator to dig up this information on him because she thought that all of this stuff had ended. So now that she got this information and it's solidified that this situation is still going on, sis looks like she ain't happy. I don't really know. I don't know. If it was a three-way thing that they all were together in and then, you know how like a people, and this is just a speculation, you know how like marriages, they or people like they bring in a third person into the bedroom and then they get angry when that person sleeps with the other person outside of their arrangement. I mean, Judge Mathis said it, not me. He's the one who said that she was bisexual. He made those claims. I'm just you know, just giving a theory. Maybe, you know, it was a situation where they were all, you know what I'm saying, getting down, but then it was this, it was supposed to be a, t a together thing. And then he did his own thing. And then that's where the problem came in and he was supposed to stop it. And now he's continuing. I don't know, but y'all do know, and y'all gonna let me know in the comment section. Whatever the case, though, um, I don't wish bad on anybody. I'm reporting the news, but I don't wish bad on anybody. I know that, you know, she seems to be taking it rough, whatever it is that's causing it. I don't know. Like I said, if it's a situation she was down with that went bad, an arrangement she agreed with, but the backlash from the media. Because if you talk about people in a certain way and then you get backlash for possibly, you know, being a hypocrite. I mean, that could probably, that could teeter totter her too. So it could be a number of things. She could be down with it, but the backlash, you know, I don't know. Y'all let me know though. And again, if you guys want to purchase this hair from youthbeauty.com, type in my coupon code, which is NIQ, N-I-Q-U-E for the coupon code, and you will get 25% off of this hair. This is a 360 straight um, wig unit. I put these curls in myself and I dyed it jet black by myself. It comes a natural black color when you get it, but you're able to customize it however you like. You're able to put your hair up, put it down, however you want to style it. This hair is really versatile. 
So if you want to get some hair like this, when I first showed it, it, it wasn't styled. It wasn't anything. So you kind of didn't really get a feel. So I wanted to make sure to show you guys what it looks like styled and, um, you know, everything like that. So, you know, you could, you guys can get in with, get in on, on this. You know what I'm saying? Get, get in on this. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, if you want to cop this hair, go to youthbeauty.com. I want to know what you guys think about this whole Wendy Williams situation. What do you guys think about this? Like, let's talk about it in the comments. All right, guys. Peace.